Hello everyone, Sheltek and welcome back to another monitor review. Today we're looking at a 27 inch monitor from Pixio. This is the PXC277 Advanced Gaming Monitor and it offers a VA fast curve screen, 2560 by 1440p resolution, 320 nits brightness and a one millisecond response time. But what it also has that is highly sought in gaming monitors is its blazing 165 hertz refresh rate. So today I'll do a quick unboxing setup, go through the features, do some gaming and show you why this curved monitor could be a great addition to your setup at a budget price. As always, the timestamps and product links are in the description to this monitor and any gear I use in my videos. Okay, so let's see what we get in this strikingly red Pixio box. We have a few things included with this monitor, like the standard parts, screws, Vista connector, cables, monitor arm, and a power cable. Underneath is the PXC277 advanced screen itself, a manual, and that's it in the box. Nice and simple with no unnecessary clutter. Now when it comes to setting up the PXC277A, which is a curved monitor, you can set it up in two ways. This monitor is Vista compatible as seen here with four screw holes, so you can attach your favorite 100mm by 100mm monitor arm. But if the curved back is too much for the monitor arm, it is nice that Pixio includes an adapter to give it a flat surface. Of course, the second way to use this is the included desk stand, and with this option, all you're going to need is a screwdriver and a couple of screws included with the monitor. All that is involved is sliding the stand base over the stand stem and tightening the screws into the bottom of the base and into the stem. Then just insert the assembled stand into the back of the monitor and you're good to go. Other features on the plastic back are Pixio's branding and graphics, cooling vents, the inputs and output area, and the on off menu joystick. Taking a look at the inputs which are located on the underside middle of the back, you have the DC or power in. USB, which is just used for firmware updates, so not a hub, and HDMI 2.0 port. That should give you a max speed of 144 Hz, so this can be used with your PS5 to get a max resolution of 140p and 120 Hz. Then two display ports with 165 Hz refresh rates, that is nice for intense gaming. Also a 3.5mm earphone jack that you can run your audio through due to this monitor not having any built-in speakers. Pixio also includes a DisplayPort cable to take advantage of those higher refresh rates. Okay, let's talk about the overall look of this monitor. The bezels around the edges are super thin that look modern and sleek that really don't get in the way of the viewing experience. The bottom has small unobtrusive Pixio logo and a small power on LED on the bottom right corner. The stand that this monitor comes with is metal and crazy sturdy. It doesn't stick out front of the monitor and is also out of the way. Nice to see Pixio using premium materials in this budget monitor. The screen does tilt up and down to improve your angles, but doesn't swivel left or right. For that, you would need to put it on a monitor arm. It comes in around 10 pounds, mainly due to the light material, external power brick, and lack of speakers, so it's easy to move around on your setup. The curve isn't crazy drastic and gives great viewing angles. For someone like me, new to curved monitors, it did take some time to adjust to, but after a while, I enjoyed the more immersive feel of the PXC277A. I even held my light bar just to secure it as a flat panel monitor. Out of the box, this monitor looks great with just using the standard preset. As I mentioned earlier, the PXC277A is a full HDR 1440p free sync monitor with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio display that is a noticeable upgrade to my 1080p monitors. The fast 1 millisecond response time reduces ghosting and blurring during gameplay, making it lightning fast, getting your input moves to the monitor with no noticeable lag or delay. This is great for first person shooters, racing, sports games, and competitive gamers. The colors are vivid, rich, and vibrant due to the high color gamut of 95% DCI P3 and 124% sRGB. The blacks are deep and the 4000 to 1 contrast ratio between black and gray make it easy to distinguish characters in dark games such as Diablo 4. Although I did notice some backlight when the screen is dark in Diablo 4, but it didn't affect my gaming and I could still distinguish background and characters. Even during periods of productivity, I found this monitor to be quite a joy. Text is clear and legible, and multitasking is surprisingly easy to perform on this 27-inch screen. I like with the single button, you can toggle between commonly used modes, such as pressing left on the button allows you to go through the presets instantly, pushing up will switch inputs, and pushing right will get you to the game assist menu to change settings that most gamers can appreciate, like a timer, add crosshairs that are great for FPS players, and an FPS counter. Pushing left will also allow you to adjust the brightness of the screen. Pressing the button directly will bring up all the features customizable on this monitor. I like how it displays your resolution, refresh rate, and if free sync is on or off with a click glance. Features such as display that lets you change things like contrast, 
aspect ratio, sharpness, and presets. Color to change hue, gamma, saturation, temperature, etc. Gaming setup where gamers can really dive into settings like turning on FreeSync, Overdrive, Game Assist menu, HDR, DCR, and MPRT. Then you have input switching, system setup items such as language and firmware updates, and reset. And user data to save up to three user preferences. So I would like to highlight some of the strengths of the Pixel PXC 277A as well as some weaknesses that I found with this monitor. Number one is the price for around $230 on sale. You're getting a blazing fast 165 hertz refresh rate, 1440p, one millisecond response time monitor, which will make it impossible to go back to 1080p gaming. I would think a monitor with this many features and outstanding picture would be in the $300 to $400 range. Number two is the look. This monitor is minimal yet gorgeous. It's sleek and modern looking to match any gamer setup. No crazy logos or overuse of plastics on this monitor. With the inclusion of a sturdy metal stand, I'm glad Pixel did not cheap out even at this low price point. Number three is gaming on a curved monitor. The 15R curve really is nice. It offers a clear image and really resolved my hesitation of gaming on something other than a flat monitor. And number four is the color. It's vivid and rich right out of the box. Of course, you can jump into the presets to tailor your gameplay, but for me, I was pleasantly surprised at how much I love gaming on this monitor, especially sports games with bright palettes and moody dark palette RPGs. A couple of things that maybe are lacking in the monitor or a deal breaker for some that I found are the lack of speakers, but separate speakers are always the best way to go. The lack of cable management and the limited physical adjustability, such as moving the screen up and down or left and right. But for a great 1440p monitor that goes for around $230. Some things would have to be made to get this price. Just as long as the gameplay is on point, refresh rate high, colors are vivid, I believe budget conscious gamers will be happy. Another thing is the HDR, which I don't think most people will really be using on this monitor due to not having high nits and dimming. And I don't have a console to test it on, but if it is important to you, maybe this monitor is not for you. But for my gaming, I was fine with it and I didn't really notice a loss of detail. So that was my look at the Pixel PXC 277 Advanced Monitor. I love the performance, look, and of course the price of this 27 inch 1440p monitor. Really any budget conscious gamer can't go wrong with it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out my review of the great dual monitor arm right here. If you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss my next video.